So uh, starting out with uh, some of the fine technical details, we have the Alcantara, the seat, which is an Alcantara, which has uh, some fine stitching, together with the Alpine uh, embossed logos built into the leather strap coming across the top of the fuel tank on the bike. Now, this leather strap coming across the fuel tank is coupled together with a billet CNC machined uh, fuel cap that comes together, putting up by the, the front uh, uh, top triple clamp, with a very unique Alpine uh, logo and the identification of the serial number. There's only going to be 110 Super Veloce Alpine motorcycles manufactured, and each one is going to have an individual number up on the top triple clamp of that bike. So it's a, a, going to be a very defining feature. Now, going beyond the styling, we also have a number of technical components into this bike, uh, starting off with carbon fiber. Uh, we've put on five different carbon fiber components onto the Super Veloce Alpine, starting with the air intake covers up on the top and going down to the lower part of the bodywork, the lower fairing, and uh, coming around to the back of the bike, the rear mudguard, as well as the carbon fiber components on the rear swing arm. Now, the carbon fiber components on this bike were chosen for a specific reason. We chose the components that are furthest away from the center of mass of the bike. So the carbon fiber components being further away from the center of mass on the bike and being lighter than the components they replace help reduce the moment of inertia of the bike. So the nimble handling that we've spoken about before, uh, we've been able to augment that by reducing that moment of inertia of the bike to make the bike even more nimble, even faster to turn into the corners. So these are our very unique components. And then together we have with each Super Veloce Alpine, we have a kit of special components that are included in each box with the bike, including the very distinctive three exit exhaust system on the bike, uh, which comes together with a specific ECU engine mapping for that exhaust system that gives really the MV Augusta Super Veloce Alpine a very distinctive sound. Now, for MV Augusta, 2021 represents a milestone year. It's a year where uh, we have made a major uh, push forward with the technology that we're putting into our three-cylinder platform. And uh, what have we done? We've basically addressed every major area of the bike, starting out with the engine, to the frame, to the electronics package on this bike. One thing we have to stress for 2021 uh, with MV Augusta is the major leap forward that we've made with our electronics package on the bike. For the first time in 2021, MV Augusta is going to be using a new continental cornering ABS system. The cornering ABS system uh, that we were able to put together with uh, our technical partner, Continental, was developed uh, together with our test riders to give a focus on a, let's say, a very transparent function of our ABS system, which works in two modes. One mode is the cornering, where we're controlling the grip of the front tire while you're trail braking into a corner, allowing you to brake as deep into the corner as you can, while having the, the, the grip coming back to the front tire and giving you the confidence to push the bike even harder into the corner. At the same time, we have a function called RLM. The RLM is a function where, under hard braking, 
with the six uh, axis inertia sensor, we're able to lift the front uh, the back tire up off the ground, have 100% uh, weight transfer to the front wheel, get maximum grip out of the front tire, and then we bring the back tire back down to the ground while the rider is still braking as hard as they can. And at that point, we're keeping the back tire on the ground under ABS conditioning, allowing you to continue to steer and, and, and move the motorcycle uh, without having the back tire coming up and off the ground under what would be normal traditional ABS uh, function. So it's a, a, a milestone event for us having this advanced technology and being able to intervene with the software and with the firmware with our technical partner Continental to make it as transparent as possible, to make it something that enhances the ride rather than taking away from the experience and the emotion that you get from riding the Super Veloce Alpine. From an engine standpoint, inside of the engine, we had a major focus on reducing friction. Uh, we put in a number of new components inside of the engine, including the sintered uh, valve guides. We have a number of components inside of the engine which are DLC coated, diamond-like carbon coated, which allow us to reduce the friction um, in, in, in a major way inside of the engine. Reducing that friction reduces heat. Reducing that friction and heat allows us to make more power. So the Super Veloce Alpine makes 147 homologated horsepower all at the same time while meeting the new Euro 5 uh, emissions and homologation requirements for 2021. From the vehicle standpoint, we have looked at increasing the longitudinal and torsional rigidity of the frame. And how did we do that? We changed the side plates, the cast side plates on the frame, working on the, uh, with an FEM, uh, finite element uh, mathematics, on the back side of those plates in order to increase the rigidity of those plates, give us a frame that's even more torsionally stiff that increases the, the let's say, the nimbleness of the bike as we're trying to get it into the corner. So we've been able to, to incorporate that update into the frame. At the same time, we focused on comfort and uh, we made major steps forward with the uh, rear suspension with the rear shock with the front forks with new valving new springs in order to get a more compliant ride while at the same time uh, keeping the same nimble traits for the, the 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 sport nature of the bike when you get the bike onto the track again with the electronics platform we have a completely new engine control algorithm bringing in all kinds of new features so for 2021, we have uh, uh, the new traction control, which now is becoming a slip control. We're now controlling the slip of the rear wheel of the bike with eight different levels of slip control and off for any riders that would like to try the experience or the emotion of taking the slip control off. And, uh, and how that's working is basically we're intervening on the torque in function of throttle position, engine RPM, gear ratio chosen and the angle of the bike in the corner or better yet coming out of the corner. So we're controlling that in, in all of the conditions of the roll of the motorcycle. Together with that inertia sensor, the inertia platform, we also have front lift control. Now, while most motorcycle manufacturers use wheelie control and they're trying to keep the front tire of the bike down on the ground under hard acceleration, what we're doing in MB Augusta is something completely different. What we're trying to do is maximize performance. And how we maximize performance is by maximizing the pitch of the motorcycle, getting the weight transfer to the rear wheel, making sure that we have all the power being transferred to the ground. And then what we have is a pitch control and we're controlling the height of the wheelie and allowing the rider to maintain that wheelie to keep the bike, let's say, under the maximum acceleration that's possible in that gear position and uh, in, in those, uh, let's say, grip conditions with the traction control active. So we're bringing all of these factors together. Now, while we have front lift control, we have uh, traction control, we now also have launch control. So on the front hand, on the handlebar on the right hand side, with the press of one button, you can activate the MV Augusta launch control system. You can hold the throttle wide open with first gear engaged, the clutch pulled. You ease the clutch out, keeping the throttle pinned wide open and together with the engine control strategies, with the launch control, with the front lift control and with the traction control working in unison, you're able to launch the bike out of a start and receiving the maximum emotions possible, period. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's one last feature, and that's the MV Augusta green box. So uh, we understand the 
exclusivity of our MV Augusta products. And because of that exclusivity, maybe there can even be some envy. And, and with envy, <laughs> uh, products can, can disappear. And that's something that we want to try to avoid. So we've included inside of all of our MV Augusta Super Veloce uh, Alpine um, motorcycles a localization device. And through our app, you can localize okay. and find geo uh, uh, positioned anywhere in the world you are in via Augusta at any time during the day or the night through your smartphone or through your device okay. so this is a, an important feature that uh, we want to offer to 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 all of our our family because yeah. when you when you have an MV Augusta you are part of our family while we've worked very hard on the uh, chassis on the styling on the engine and on the engine control algorithms one thing uh, we can't dismiss is connectivity. Inside of MV Augusta, in the course of the last 18 months, uh, we have focused a lot of our energy in R&D uh, on connectivity. And uh, going into 2021, we have the MV Augusta Ride app. Uh, the MV Augusta Ride app we launched onto the market uh, this year. It's gone through a major uh, Rev2 update going into 2021. And what the MV Augusta Ride app has inside is the possibility to allow all of our MV Augusta, uh, let's say, ecosystem um, customers to interact not only with the motorcycle, uh, with their smartphone, they have uh, the screen mirroring on the, their TFT dashboard that allows them to have the navigation function. They can uh, uh, look exactly uh, to see where they want to go with their ride, fix uh, their, their navigation point, and they can get to their destination. When they get to their destination, they can also at the same time share their route with other people inside of the MV Augusta community so they can save that route. They can have it stored inside of their, their, uh, their, uh, their, their, their device and share that with the data acquisition function so let's say that you put inside of your navigation, you want to go to the, the Misano racetrack. You get to the Misano racetrack, you activate the data acquisition function, you go around the Misano racetrack, and you can see throttle position, gear position, uh, location, and, uh, and acceleration, engine RPM inside of that, uh, that app function. And then you can share that data with all of your other friends that are inside of the MV Augusta MV Ride app ecosystem. So it's actually something that is not only connecting you to the bike, but connecting our, uh, let's say, um, community members together at the same time. So this is, is a very important feature, something we're going to be continuing to growing and expanding on.